Not all fruits are created equal, and that doesn't only apply to how they taste. It also includes how much they can be sold for. As a general rule, any fruit considered exotic or not locally grown could command a premium price. Generally, easier global trade has put a stop on overpriced fruits and we can basically eat most fruits in existence. But as always, there are a few outliers. For some reason or another, there are still some fruit out there that are out of reach for us common folk, reserved for those people who can afford them. The ridiculous fruit on number one is the most expensive fruit in the world, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Here are 15 of the most expensive fruits in the world. Our first entry is the Sembakaya Cherry. These cherries come from that same famous fruit shop as the Queen Strawberries. More on that one later. Established in 1834, Sembakaya is one of the best places to find this expensive and impressive fruit. These cherries undergo a strict quality control inspection before they are deemed fit for the market. Each must be evenly sized and the same color. To make sure that each cherry is up to scratch, they are grown in small greenhouses so that each cherry is monitored individually. While they are only $4 each, they are sold in boxes of 40. This makes them $160 a box. Our next entry is Sembakaya Queen Strawberries. These strawberries are another part of Japan's long tradition of gifting exquisite fruit to people you are indebted to. This fruit is not only extremely sweet, but its leaves are known for being perfectly shaped. The oldest fruit shop in Japan, Sembakaya, is where they get their namesake. Each strawberry is hand-selected to ensure that every berry in their fruit boxes is precisely what their clients are looking for. Though, here's the real question. How much are you expected to fork up for a dozen of these things? 85 bucks if you buy it in Japan. The price grows exponentially if you try to import them, though. Our next entry is Buddha-shaped pears. People have been fiddling with their fruits and veggies since the dawn of agriculture. At first, our primary aims were size and productivity. That is, bigger, faster growing food and lots of it. And then we started to go for looks. Nowadays, we can produce pears that look exactly like fat little Buddhas, complete with folded arms, plump tummies, and meditative smiles. The Secret is a plastic mold made by China's Fruit Mold Company, a manufacturing group that also sells supplies for making heart-shaped watermelons, star-shaped cucumbers, apples with gnomish faces, and sultry peaches shaped like human behinds. Aside from its shape, it's just your garden variety pear. However, it does look like looking like a godly little pear does add a bit of a premium to the price. You can get one, and just one, of these pears for $9 each. Our next entry is the White Jewel Strawberries. The White Jewel Strawberry is like expensive beer. If you have the palate for it, you're sure to notice this berry's mysterious flavor. Otherwise, you may be wondering what you paid for. Farmers say it takes a while to be able to taste the flavor this strawberry has to offer, and they even warn that it may seem almost flavorless at first. People compare the taste to a tropical taste, saying it's like biting into a pineapple. It finishes with a light flavor of sweet candy. Much larger than your traditional strawberry, it's produced only in Japan. Its white color comes from a lack of sunlight. A harvest produces only 10% of white strawberries in a growing season because of the strict ratio of sunlight to darkness that needs to be maintained. And that's the main reason it sells for 10 bucks a piece. There actually is an easier and cheaper way to make one, but that involves soaking your strawberries in bleach, so I suspect that's not gonna taste as good. Our next entry is Decompen Citrus. Despite costing $13 per orange, people are quick to say that this excellent piece of citrus is well worth the price. It is much larger than a traditional mandarin, but, get this, has the same taste. Though, why would anybody buy one of these when he or she can buy a few normal oranges for the same price? I don't know. This orange is one of the best kept secrets in the world of fruit producing. Initially grown in Japan, it was first brought to the US in 1998. It was actually smuggled in. After a complicated history of sneaking fruit trees in and out of countries, it is now found in stores worldwide. Our next entry is Sakai Ichi Apples. Sakai Ichi are the most expensive apples in the world, hailing from the land of mind-blowingly expensive fruits, and it's of course Japan if you weren't paying attention. They sell for more than 20 bucks each in stores. They were first bred in Morioka, but nowadays the apples are mainly grown in Amori Prefecture. These extremely large apples have a sweet and mild flavor, while the texture is crisp, firm, and juicy. One of them could easily weigh two pounds. 
Available from fall through early winter, the Sakai Chi are so expensive because the growers wash them in honey and brand them by hand, ensuring that they're blemish-free. Our next entry is Tayo no Tamego Mangoes. The most anyone has paid for these mangoes is an astounding 4500 bucks for a pair. That was at a wholesale auction in Japan. Usually, these mangoes only go for about 50 bucks a piece. To be sold, these mangoes must weigh at least 350 grams and have at least half of their color be a deep red. This fruit is extremely sweet, which makes sense when you translate their name, meaning Egg of the Sun in English. Our next entry is Sembakaya Muskmelons. This fruit is not like the others. While cutting into most fruit, you get a waft of a deliciously sweet scent we all think of when we think of fruit, but this melon is meant to smell musky. These melons are grown in Shizuka, Japan. This area is sunny, but the air temperature and moisture are monitored continuously around these unique melons. They're surrounded by air conditioners and heaters as needed. While the smell may not be as mouth-watering as others, these melons do have a sweet and rich taste. A taste that can actually cost you 150 bucks or more. Our next entry is Square Watermelons. You may have seen these perfectly cute watermelons on social media. This is one of the fruits that is much more about the look rather than the taste. Most people say there's no difference in taste between a square watermelon and a round one that you can buy at the grocery store. The reason they're so expensive is simply because of their shape. Yes, these watermelons are popular for decorative purposes. Since they're so labor-intensive to produce, you can be sure that the price is going to stay high, which is around $200 a piece. Our next entry is Densake Watermelons. The most cash one of these darkly colored watermelons have ever sold for is $6,000. However, if you're extremely lucky, you can get one for around $250. Quite a steal right there. Auctioned off every year in Japan, there is always a crowd ready to buy these most expensive fruits. Densuke watermelons are known for being much sweeter than your average watermelon. And not only that, they're also crunchier. For most people, that's not worth the exorbitant price tag. But if you're looking to impress, like the ruby roman grapes and some of the most expensive teas, this beautiful and delicious watermelon will undoubtedly win over a group. Speaking of ruby, our next entry is the ruby roman grapes. Okay, imagine this. $400 for a single grape. A bunch of these sweet red grapes just sold for 11,000, in fact. This breed of grapes is known for its high sugar content and low acidity. It's said to be one of the juiciest grapes in the world. And if you're thinking about heading to a hot spring in Japan sometime, you'll have the luxury of being able to try it. This bunch of ruby roman grapes was bought in the tradition popular in Japan of gifting expensive fruit. These exclusive fruits are often given to bosses or others you're seeking to impress. While not all of these grapes will go for 11,000 a bunch, you can be sure they will all be fetching extremely high prices. Our next entry is Northern Territory Mangoes. A dozen Australian mangoes sold for a record $50,000. Though it probably doesn't have much to do with them being the most expensive fruits. The northern part of Australia produces thousands of mangoes each year. So what was so special about these? Well, what was so special about these is that all proceeds went to two children's charities. Hopefully you'll never be paying thousands for your mangoes, but every year someone in Northern Australia will be. Our next entry is Bijan Hime Strawberries. At $4,000 per fruit, this is not just the most expensive strawberry you're going to find on the market, but also the largest. These massive strawberries are produced in small quantities every year, usually only about 500 per season. These strawberries are grown to weigh over 100 grams. That's three times larger than your traditional strawberry. This stunning fruit is of course produced in Japan. They're just a short ride from Gifu Hashima Station if you're looking to pick some up. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick is a pineapple, but not just any old pineapple that you argue with your friends about if it's a good pizza topping or not, which by the way it isn't, but the most expensive and rare pineapple in the world. Find out what it is, and more importantly, how much it is, next with the pineapples from the Lost Gardens of Heligan. We all know that pineapples don't grow in Europe and that England's weather is, well, let's say, not very pretty. That's only half true. Pineapples actually do grow in Europe and England's weather can be good enough for growing pineapples. That is with a little bit of human help. The Lost Gardens of Heligan, Cornwall, is the last place in all of Europe where pineapples do grow. It's a pineapple pit and the kind the Victorian gardeners used in the 18th century. 
The technique involves large quantities of fresh manure and urine sauté used to heat up the pit where the pineapples are planted and a lot of hard manual labor. Normally, these pineapples are not sold, though they are valued at more than $1,500 each. Despite that, one was auctioned at some point and the buyer paid around $16,000 for one. We know, jaw-dropping. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Our last entry for the day is Yubari King Melons. The Yubari King Melon is a hybrid of two other melons that originated on the same Hokkaido island as the Densuke Watermelon and got its name from the Yubari Greenhouses on the island. What makes them so unique is that their skin is perfectly smooth. Yabari King Melons are grown in greenhouses in volcanic ash. They are picked by hand with scissors and are meant to be eaten within two to three days of harvesting. They're very soft and sweet and they're used as gifts during Chugen, the Ghost Festival, a traditional Buddhist and Taoist festival. While the current average price is $12,000 per melon, in 2008, two of them were sold for a hefty $30,000, making them the most expensive fruits in the world. What's the most expensive piece of fruit that you've eaten? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.